Howdy, I'm Bob Terry. Welcome to the Forsaken Westerns. Up next, we've got the pilot episode of a TV series titled Ricochet, The Adventures of Ricochet. Now, this is interesting because this show supposedly was produced in 1951, but Stan Lynn didn't come up with the Ricochet character for the comic strips for the newspapers until 1958. So this is an interesting tidbit. Now, this episode stars Steve Keyes, and the title of it is Stagecoach to Danger. Sit back, relax, kick your boots up, and enjoy this. And we'll see you after the show. Buffalo Jack. Well, he's one of Daggett's men. Well, I thought they were working below the border. Go for you right back and report to Captain Taylor. Tell him Daggett and his men have crossed the border and we're trailing them. Right, Rick. So I came right in to make my report, Captain. Now, Rick told me to tell you that he was pretty sure it was Daggett and his gang across the border. I knew Daggett would try to cross the border when he found out that the governor would be in Santa Rosa for the celebration tomorrow. What's he mad at the governor for? About 10 years ago, when Rand was town marshal of Santa Rosa, he pistol whipped Daggett. Well, you don't have to worry about that Daggett at all, Captain, because Rick and Paul Neal find him. Well, in the meantime, I'll ride over to Santa Rosa and meet the governor's train just to make sure. You stay here and take care of the office. Yes, sir, Captain, I'll take care of everything. You know me. Yes, that's what worries me. The tracks lead into the water. They must have gone downstream. It's clear up above. Come in. Uh, afternoon, ladies. <clears throat> uh, are you Captain Taylor? Well, no, ma'am. I'm his assistant. 
Uh, he's away on some very important business. He's meeting the governor's train. Well, I'm sorry I missed him. I'm Martha Rand, and this is my cousin Emily. How do you do? Jump at Jehoshaphat, the governor's daughter? Well, 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 sit down. Have a chair, Miss Rand. Uh, uh, have, have a chair. Oh, what can I do for you ladies? Well, didn't you get Father's wire? It should have been here hours ago. No, ma'am. We're traveling to Santa Rosa by coach, and Uncle John thought we should have an escort from here on. Well, he's absolutely right. I'll take care of it personally. Uh, you ladies stay right here. I've got a few minutes uh, so I can spruce up a little bit before the coach leaves. Uh, you'll excuse me, ladies. I I'll, I'll be right back. And don't, don't go away. I'll be right back. Howdy, Burson. Howdy, Slim. Hello, Buck. Burson. Howdy, Daggett. See you made it. Any trouble getting across the border? The deputy's got Buffalo Jack, but the rest of us got through all right. Where have you been? I've been doing a little snooping around town. Listen to this. It's uh, addressed to Captain Taylor. Daughter Martha arriving on stage today. Stop. Please provide Ranger Escort to Santa Rosa. And it's signed Governor Rand. How'd you get this? Captain Taylor rode out for Santa Rosa just before it arrived, and I volunteered to catch him and deliver it. And this is better than I hoped for. Instead of the governor, we'll get the girl. We'll meet the stage at the halfway station when they change horses. Governor Rand ought to pay plenty to get his daughter back. I've been waiting a long time to get even with him for this. He'll wish he'd never seen me when I get through a her face after we get the money. I didn't wait. Taking a girl and holding her for ransom is one thing, but disfiguring her face is something else. You want to start trying to bust the gang, Slim? Oh, no. No, but I thought... That well, we'll don't. Just do as you're told. Come on. You wait here for the rest of the men, Buck. Tell them to stick around pretty close till we get back. Right. the water here. It'll be slow trailing through these rocks. Uh, we'll be a few minutes here, ladies, changing horses, so uh, if you'd like a cool drink of water. Oh, yes, that sounds wonderful. Please do. This here's the governor's daughter. Boy, uh, get the ladies a cool drink of water. Sure. The governor's daughter. I'll help, too. Mr. McFarland? Mr. McFarland. Oh, sure, yes. Uh, what is it? The station agent wants to see you. Ooh, ooh. Uh, uh, it's probably something very important. <laughs> You gentlemen want to see me? Why, well, yes. How do you do, Mr. McFarland? Uh, glad, glad to know you. Darnell, our senior driver. Glad to, glad to know you. We just received a message from Governor Rand. Oh, the governor. You see, the governor wants us to pull a fake stage robbery and kidnapping. Give his daughter and niece a little excitement. You know the governor. Great practical joker. <laughs> That's John, all right. He'd do anything for a laugh. Then uh, we can count on your cooperation. Oh, I, oh, I'd do anything for John. Uh, where are we going to pull it? Meet us on the flats out of town a ways. Oh, all right. I'll be on the lookout for you. 
and make it look good. Oh, uh, we will. <laughs> uh, I wonder if you'd send in the other driver on your way out. Well, I, I sure, I'd be glad to. I, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, and thank you. Thank you. <laughs> They want to see you inside. here, but they're all going away. Let's check the house. Get the boys. seems deserted. Yeah. Maybe we ought to follow those tracks we saw outside. Let's take a look first. Let's see if we can't work this out peacefully. Unbuckle your gun belts and let them drop.
you're in a fancy outfit, get out. Oh, you can't stop us. Well, I'm escorting the governor's daughter. Get out of the coach. This here's an outrage. Why the governor... Shut up. Was... We're taking the ladies with us. Why, you can't possibly get Don't away with it. Don't argue with them, ladies. Real desperate characters. I might even be Daggett and his gang. Sure made it look pretty good. And yeah, this'll make it look better. Come on. Get up now. Did you get that outfit? I bought it to impress Miss Rand and to escort him to Santa Rosa, but Miss Rand and her cousin have been kidnapped. Kidnapped? How could that happen with you guarding the stage? Well, I, I helped them. Helped them? Yeah, but I didn't know they said they were going to play a joke. Tracks oh. branch off here. Let's follow them. Swing aboard, Gopher. <laughs> Are you all right, Miss Emily? Yes, but those bandits took Martha. The man who called himself Daggett said to tell Uncle John they won 50,000 in gold if we ever want to see her again. They said that someone would contact him in Santa Rosa. That explains a lot of things. Yeah, I like that trouble we had a while ago. Gopher, you take Miss Emily to the halfway station and get word to the governor. We're right. going back to that ranch. I've got a hunch Daggett's there. this set up, Daggett. 50,000 will make you like it better. Yeah, but how are we going to get back across the border after we turn the girl loose? Don't worry about that. I've waited a long time for a chance like this. You must be out of your mind. Shut up. I haven't done anything to harm you. My father will pay the ransom money. Money won't pay for what's happened to me in the last 10 years. And Governor Rand is responsible. Wait till he gets a look at you. Why don't you leave the girl alone, Daggett? We haven't got the money yet. I'll handle this in my own way. After we get paid, I don't care what happens to this girl. But don't you forget, Daggett, I sent for you. And this is still my deal. You'll get paid. Anybody else got any complaints? Guess not. Not me. And you better take him outside. And get some more firewood. We may need it.
come inside when I get the drop on them. You think Governor Randall paid a ransom? Ransom or no ransom, I'm not waiting any longer. What are you looking at him for? He can't help you. He might. Nobody can. You'll never get away with it. Every ranger in the territory will be looking for you. Hand me the poker, Slim. Great, you two. Get the gun, Fawny. I hope we have more luck than the last time we did this. You won't have any more trouble, Miss Rand. Daggett and his gang are locked up where they won't bother anybody for a long time. Thanks again, Mr. O'Shea. Just call me Rick. Rick? And if you change your mind about the celebration, be sure and look us up. If we get there. Well, if you ladies would feel safer, well, I'd be glad to escort you. No, no thanks. thanks. You don't. <laughs> you don't. Goodbye, now. Goodbye, Rick. Goodbye. Thanks. Bye, Connie. Bye. Bye, Bye Gopher. Bye.
Well, that was interesting and entertaining. An interesting tidbit about this episode is that the outlaw Daggett was played by Lewis Wilson. Lewis Wilson was the first man to play Batman on the screen. In 1943's 15 episode cliffhanger serial just titled Batman. My name's Bob Terry. Thank you again for joining us here for the Forsaken Westerns. We hope you'll join us again here next time. Have a great day. <laughs>